Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tari. Welcome to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial. As we continue our tutorials, we add to the complexity of uh, the geometry of the part. Today, we would like to draw a ratchet. It looks like this. So we have a handle here, a bar here, and we have uh, the head of the ratchet. So start with uh, File, New, Make a New Part. And we go to Front Plane, make a sketch in Front Plane, Space Bar, Normal to it. And we start with drawing a center line. So center line is an imaginary line that is not a part of a drawing in a sense, but you can do various activities around it. You can make the center line as uh, a dynamic mirror, or you have a sh geometry you want to revolve it around it or sweep around it. So just make center line here. Make sure it's a vertical. And you see this sign shows here is vertical. And is already selected you go to tools and you go to sketch tools and you go dynamic mirror and as you make the center line dynamic mirror there are two lines here and two lines here let's give the dimension to the center line so make the length of 220 and now I start to uh, draw a few lines so we we'll go from this point to this point as, as I continue you can see that because of the dynamic mirror it automatically makes uh, the mirror of the lines. So let's give dimension here. This line is 20. This line is 100. And this is done. So I go to extrude cut and I want to, ex sorry, extrude a base. I want to extrude that. Uh, 20 is the width of the extrude. And I go mid plane. And my mid plane is my front plane. So extend the 10 millimeter in both sides. And I use the draft angle of uh, 10 degree. And here, what I get. So uh, let's continue. We go to the top uh, plane, sketch on top plane, normal to top plane. I go here, I make a circle here. The size of the circle is 12 in diameter done here I finish get out so this is looks like this I do another extrude cut and in that case if I want to extend that and drag it so it does work perfectly however in terms of manufacturing this is not exactly what I do so and if I want to use solid work for doing some calculation for example center of gravity or some kind of simulation that may cause a problem so realistically I want to extend that up to these two surfaces so we do have an option here up the surface However, because these two surfaces are not parallel, it may not work. And as you can see, I extend it to this surface. It goes right to the clash with the surface. But here there is a gap. As I do here, the same thing happens. So the option I use here is up the body. And I select the body and exactly extrude it to become uh, tangent and flush with the, every single face of that body. And here it's done. So the next step is I go to... Um, Again, front plane, making a sketch, normal to it, and I want to make uh, this geometry. So, start with uh, a simple line here, just a random line. And now, the next one I press A key and it turns it to uh, a double A. So, when I'm here, I can just press A again and make it a straight. You have to be careful where you are. So, I am in this uh, quarter. I press A and it makes it become a curve. Continue. And press A again. Make another curve. And what I have here, I have two relations here. This line is uh, tangent to this curve, and this line tangent to this curve. I have to make two more uh, relations. I select this curve and this line, and I make it a tangent. So as this curve and this line, I make a tangent. Give some dimension here. This line. Well, the dimension of this is 36. This uh, radius is 26. Uh, the distance between this point 
and this one is 18. Uh, actually, I think what I did is this would be the diameter. This is 13. No, I can't change that obviously because I have to delete this. So this is 13 and this is 18. This is the radius. And now the distance between this point and this point is 18. Okay, that looks better. So the next step is, of course, these two should be parallel to each other, uh, vertical with respect to each other. I select this point, control this. I have to be out of the dimension. Select this point and this point. And I use them as vertical. And finally, the last is, I want to make this point and the origin to be coincident. And here is completely being defined. The next step will be I go to feature and extrude exact same options, the mid plane, and I make 20 and a graph of 10. And here what I have the head of that. So next thing is I want to know, uh, so you can see I want to make the cut here. There's a lip here and that is two millimeters. So I have to create this interior uh, curve so let's go back here there's a very handy feature and what I do I select here I make a sketch on this surface and then I use in uh, convert entity and as soon as I press that it creates this uh, geometry here there's this curve right there so make another one here uh, click again And now I use this feature here, offset. And as soon as I press that, you make an offset from this curve. So I make it two and I make it reverse. And this is exactly what I get. So I made this uh, second curve in size. Now obviously the next step, it's nothing but uh, you select this and you go here, extrude, cut. So you want to cut it only two millimeter and there we go to have that kind of lip here so now you want to make these two um, circle here go back here okay uh, here's my part so select here, making a sketch, make it perpendicular to this. Uh, so as soon as I go on this uh, circumference, it brings up the center. I make one here and one here. Let's keep the dimension. Uh, So this is 16, this one 24. So now, of course, I want to remove this kind of common area. So I use this trim entity. You click anywhere here and drag your uh, mouse and it just automatically uh, cut it. And the next step is again, you do extrude cut. So my cut, I want to do it uh, not blind, but I want to do offset from the surface, 2 millimeter from this surface, and here we go. It's finished. Done. Uh, the next step would be to making the final these two holes. Let's go back here. Click on this surface. You make a sketch on the surface, space bar, normal to open it here. Uh, make two circles here, one here, and uh, the other one would be here. So these are identical circles. Let me just give the dimension here. So this is six, actually, it's 12. Uh, and this one is 12 as well. 
I could have also used control and click and drag and make a copy of it. So that's another option here. Then I go to extrude cut. And of course, I want to cut it all the way through. And here is what it gets. I'm almost done. So a couple of other uh, features here. Now we have to do all the fillet. So I start the fillet here. So I use all the fillet to the same uh, size and belong to the same perhaps components together. So for example, for the handle, uh, I use uh, three and I fill it this side and this side. And this side. There we go. This is done. So I use fillet for this connecting uh, areas here I make it one and is this this side and this side as well as this side and this side uh, and I can use the fillet for actually uh, this lip for so 0.5 a little smaller here and 0.5 Uh, I can use also a fillet for here. Maybe I can use the same 0.5 here. I go edit here and add this as well. There we go. So this is done. I have all the uh, details I need here. So the final thing is just a little bit of appearance. And um, for that, I want to make the handle like made from composite. For example, and this is only uh, in terms of appearance. So uh, let's select the handle, but handle with everything included. So the handle, if you remember, was this. But also I had the fillet here. And this is the entire handle, uh, including uh, everything. So I go here to appearance. And I go to plastic. I think it's a composite. Okay, there we go, composite. And here I choose that and uh, for the rest which is okay the extrude this part the other extrude the other extrude final extrude and the other uh, fillet I use the appearance as uh, let's say metal and I use uh, chromium something like this and this is done uh, one more handy feature I would like to introduce uh, in this tutorial is you go to evaluate and they have this measure here is very handy so if I use measure and I want to measure the area of this kind of shape so click on it it gives you exactly the area and the perimeter and for example I can do here gives me this one here you add into it this area or this area or I can simply also use it in different way I can go here and I can uh, select the minimum distance so let's see what is the minimum and maximum distance which is equal to each other because it's parallel between this surface and this surface you see interestingly it tells me first of all these two surfaces are parallel and this is the total area and the distance is two millimeter, which is which I we defined it when we do the extrude cut, and it says that on x and y there is no distance, and on z is uh, two uh, millimeter distance. Yeah, yes, get familiar with this measure. It's very handy and useful uh, feature. And this will conclude our uh, this screencast. Thank you very much.